Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to solve systems of equations using the calculator. So we've gone through in previous videos all the different ways we can solve these equations from graphing, substitution, to elimination. Today I'm going to show you a shortcut to all those ways, which would be to use the calculator to do it. You can't rely on this method and just use this every single time because on your math tests they're going to want you to show the work. So you can't just do this every time and then have answers. Make sure you understand those steps, but this is a great way to check your answers and just make sure you're getting the right answer each time. Checking your graphs to make sure your graphs look like the graphs we're going to create. Okay, so your first step is when given your two equations is make sure they're in slope intercept form. So if they're not in slope intercept form, you're going to have to get them in slope intercept form. Luckily for us, in both the examples that we have here, we are already in slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So we're ready to check this on the calculator. So what you do is you cut your calculator on and you're going to go to this y equals function up here. And you're going to type in your first equation. So this is y equals, you'll notice I already have my y1 equals. And I'm going to type this in. I'm going to hit negative 3. And I do have to use the negative symbol, not the minus symbol. So that's a common error students make. So negative 3x. And for x, you're going to use this button right here. You'll see the first little letter is x plus 2. And then I'm going to use my down button to move to my second line. And I'm going to type in the second equation. So y equals 2x, 2x minus 3. So I've typed in both my equations, and I'm going to hit graph. So there are my two lines. And I can see they have a very clear intersecting point, And I want to know what that point is. So in order to figure out what that exact point is, you hit second trace. And I want to go all the way down to intersect. Now you can either scroll down and hit enter, or you could just hit 5 for intersect. And you're going to see a little spaceship show up. Um, I call it a spaceship and it'll be on one of your lines and it'll say first curve and what it means is the first line so we're gonna hit enter to say yes that's the first line and you'll see your spaceship jumps down to your second line so it's down there now and it says second curve we're gonna confirm that by hitting enter again and then lastly it'll say guess so you're guessing what the intersect is yes enter a third time and there's my intersection. So it's at 1, negative 1, and that would be my answer. 1, negative 1. So we were able to do all that with minimal work. Okay, let's look at a second equation now. In this second example, you'll notice I have a system. I've got two, um, but these are inequalities. So before I had equal sign in my equation, now I've got my inequality symbols. Works the same way. You still need to make sure both are in slope intercept form, and luckily these two already are. So again, if they were not in that form, you're going to have to get them in that form before we can use our calculator to solve it. Now you will see a little bit of difference in, in when you have an inequality, but it still works very much the same as far as steps. Make sure they're in slope intercept form, go to your y equals, and let's type in the first equation. Uh, negative 2x, negative 2x plus 4. Now, you'll notice this is not y is equal to. This is y is greater than. So right now on my calculator it says y is equal to. I need to correct that to say what I need it to say. So scroll over all the way to right here where I have the flashing um, line. And I'm going to change it to is greater than. So you want to hit enter until you see a giant triangle in the upper right corner and it'll be flashing. That symbol means greater than. Just so you know, there is no way to do both shading and a dotted line. 
So you would have to know that this should have a dotted line if you were to graph it because there's no or equal to below it. However, your calculator is going to show you a solid line. So something to be aware of, kind of a limitation with the calculators we have in, in the classroom. Okay, but there's my first equation. I want to scroll down to the next line so I can put in my second equation, or inequality, I should say. X minus 2. X minus 2. And this is Y is less than or equal to. So I need to come over here and now click Enter. There's my greater than, and I go one more, and that's my less than. So now it's a blinking triangle in the bottom left corner. Um, that's your less than symbol. So now I've got both my equations set up. Let's graph it to see how this would look. So you'll see there's my shading and I can clearly see my overlapping here of where my solutions would be. Now, one other limitation of the calculator that I do want to point out Let's say that we had the same top equation, okay? So we had y is greater than negative 2x plus 4. But let's say my bottom equation was one of these. x is less than 2. Okay, so we should remember from previous videos that when you have x, um, and then you could have an equals or an inequality symbol, a number, that is going to be a vertical line. So we should know that, and it would intersect the x-axis at positive 2. If you know, go back to my y equals, there's no way, at least on this calculator that I'm aware of, there's no way to change that y equals to an x equals. So you would not be able to graph that on the calculator. Now, if it was one of these, let's say my second equation was y is uh, less than 2, that I could graph. Okay, that would be a horizontal line, and because my it's my y on the left side, that I could put in here, but just keep in mind, you'll, you'll have to know that would be a vertical line. Okay, so again, this is, you can't rely on this to do all your work on your test, but you can rely on it um, as, a, as a way to check your answer and verify that you've done your work correctly, and check your graph, and make sure you've graphed things correctly. This has been Miss Smith's Math Tutorials.